Hello, my name is Lent, and welcome to Architecture Essentials Episode 5 Symmetry and Asymmetry and Balance and Unbalance. Um, so, everybody, like symmetry, if you draw a line through the center of some something um, and both sides are exactly the same, a mirror of mirrors of each other. Then we're talking about a symmetrical building and of course if this isn't the case then it's asymmetrical and the rule kinda is um, symmetrical is good but um, it's there's a bit more nuance to it of course as is with everything. Uh, we're looking at this uh, Manchester Town Hall build again. I um, cut the build a bit up in, in with the with the purple wool blocks kind of cutting the building up in elements and through the center of these elements I drew a line with colored wool blocks so if we look at the blue line uh, both sides of it are mirrored of each other the orange line the same the yellow one equally and the red one as well now the blue line also spans all of the building um, left and right are equal of the weight now in the in the rhythm uh, episode I talked about the elements of the building like I said there are end pieces there was kind of the body the central piece and the dividing um, so at the ends we have these more towery things at the center we have this massive with the with the clock tower um, and in between we have the body but in the center of the body is again the divider which just stands a bit out from the wall to make break the wall a bit up and um, but if we look at the body then the center of that isn't symmetrical. So within the same building we have symmetry and asymmetry. It's always a play. Um, as I said also in the rhythm build, 80-20% um, rule, randomize it a bit. So um, it is, even though symmetry is very important, but it doesn't mean that the build has to be an exact copy everywhere wherever you draw the line it should always be symmetrical. That's absolutely not the case. That would be really for boring building. Uh, we don't want to be doing that. So, um, symmetry and asymmetry. When are you... For anyone who is like not really comfortable with building something asymmetrical on their own, just go with symmetry. Symmetry is always good. Uh, it, it will be good, but I don't think it will ever be awesome. So, next step after doing very symmetrical good stuff is trying fooling around with asymmetrical stuff and trying to make that work as well. Okay, so if we're looking at this building um, and draw a center through the line of it, um, balance and unbalance, both sides of that line should have an equal visual weight and with visual weight we're talking probably more about um, your styled visual theories. Um, you don't have to know them, absolutely not. Um, but like everybody, I think everybody already knows them. Maybe not knowingly but everybody I think uses the principles anyway. Um, so both sides should have a visual equal weight and um, if we look at this building um, we have end pieces at both ends again. The center piece is now somewhat slated to the left and we have one of those dividing pieces in the right which is just a lot smaller as the big center piece was. So if we draw a line through the center of this building obviously it is in unbalance and in general you don't ever ever want to go with an unbalanced build to me that just does really doesn't sit right um, but of course this might be again a thing like the symmetry and asymmetry thing where you just need to figure it out for yourself but there is only one type of building even though there's still this visual balance um, but structurally there's definitely an unbalance in it and there's one type of building where that can happen and that is with counterweight uh, structures such as a um, counterweight bridge um, well or a, um, a crane so those those are examples of what can be um, structurally unbalanced because like the one arm of the bridge is a lot longer as the other one but the other side is just a lot heavier so we know that the pinnacle, the legs of the bridge, um, it isn't in the center, but we know that, that, that weight-wise both sides are exactly the same and you would need very little force to actually make the bridge go up because they are in balance. So 
structurally they are in imbalance, visually it's very much in balance, everybody knows that these are in balance, so then you can do uh, unbalance structurally. Okay, so if we look at this building now, um, it's again, it has the same uh, base and it's like the original. Um, it isn't symmetrical if you draw a line through the center because to the right now we have a second like kind of big ornamental gate thing and to the left we have the original like dividing piece. This build isn't symmetrical anymore if you draw a line through the center but it is still in balance because both sides look of an equal weight. Um, we've just swapped out one of the elements in this building so um, how it is structurally it is also still symmetrical and um, if we draw the lines again through the through the pieces themselves these are still symmetrical as well so this even though there's on a grand scale it is asymmetrical I think this still is still a visual appealing because there's still a lot of symmetry in it it is still balanced and um, yeah, it's just a variation on the concept that has already been established and this is actually makes it to me look more interesting because why is there a second gate? What does it have a meaning? What does the purpose? Um, so this involves a lot more um, to me a lot more thinking, a lot more processing so what does it, what does it mean? Um, so yeah in this build I would prefer probably this build over the original one where it was just um, we have these structures going on and um, that's it we're sticking to them they are like f set in concrete and um, we keep them where they are okay so now again a different variation um, in terms of uh, symmetry and balance if we look at like the center where these two buildings um, are stuck together at what would be an end piece um, we see that the building has a visual balance if you take the corner as the center because the clock tower is if you look at this from this angle it's no longer the center of this build because it now has a second wing and um, but still we have all the original pieces, we have the end elements, we have the body parts um, dividing pieces, the center piece um, so it's still very much in line with the old design uh, we did take I did take a lot of, I cut out elements pretty much and I uh, stuck them I copied them over, pasted them in on the other side This so this building still we, we keep with the patterns that we established, the rotation the rhythm of it um, and still we just expand the building by copying over the elements this is something that I think is particularly just you notice it very easily within um, a style such as this which is um, more Victorian I guess or um, Baroque neo-gothic and um, like those those like later older styles but not really that modern um, they were really kind of um, formal in the way they did stuff so these elements are really interchangeable for these sort of styles and you can just pick one part and replace it with another one expand upon it but you do it like um, the body always remains the biggest part of the builds. The end pieces they can be like they can be um, the corners and stuff. Uh, we can also do them in the center, but then um, the visually it would change a bit. Um, of course, you're not going to stick clock towers everywhere, but the central color, the central um, building part, the entrance, that is something that you copy over as well to the other side. But like one grand entrance just sits better I think with people technically you could copy it over I wouldn't advise for it um, so yeah these these styles are in in this sense that you can just really pick a building and just divide it up in elements and keep expanding up on them by copying this over um, I think it's it's something very um, playful with these sort of styles it's kind of what I kind of like to do but um, as I said the rule is symmetry um, if if I were to really force myself to do symmetric uh, this is this is a bit more playful as going for full-blown symmetry but as like if you're not that convinced about your abilities you don't want to do something asymmetrical because you're just 
you don't feel confident about it, um, then don't do something this like this. You can still make it very symmetrical. Um, it will still look good. Um, so, uh, but I think this is this is a bit more playful. There's a bit more um, the vision of the builder um, shows in it, rather than just making it purely symmetrical. But of course, I also made a symmetrical one because it's just easy to flip this stuff over. Now we have like more of a um, a palace kind of setting with um, with nice one big central entrance piece, and then we have wings which kind of um, like close off this square where this stuff is um, happening. It's very much a um, controlled space. It's quite an impressing impressive uh, kind of setting this I would say it's more of a palace a renaissance palace kind of deal um, the way it, the way it's taking shape now is no longer the town hall design that it was it's more of a um, government palace like uh, justice or something like that um, but yeah now now again the line for symmetry is exactly in the center um, this wing is the same as that wing balanced it's very balanced as well uh, of course there's like I said the symmetry thing still goes on and it's still um, asymmetrical so here we have yet another version but this of course is kind of a dwarf compared to the original one what I did here is I would have I cut up parts of the elements um, as I said in the in the episode with the lines where like the floors the lines on the floors are suggesting that there's a floor and you can just cut out a complete floor of a building and if you just stick it up again this the line that was established to be a floor it still makes that element um, looks coherent and you just get rid of a complete floor that's that's just it and um, also got rid of some elements um, it it looks a bit odd because the tower um, is quite now we don't have that that height thing anymore. Now it looks kind of bulky in a way, and and the top it looks quite <laughs> over the top for such a small thing. But um, this is the original or one version of the original, and here we have this. This is about the ha half the size of the original one. So this is like more of a like more of a client, a small cozy version of the big one, and. Um, so yeah, again, in the elements, as I said, I just cut up, cut off a complete floor, just the floor with this, with the balcony thing, um, in between floor. That's just, yeah, I just got rid of it. Um, I got this is style a body part, central piece, um, end parts, but I also got rid of like this, the second body part and this defining piece. But of course, you could put them in because, as I said, this 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 style, um, this time. Uh, style is it's very much the elements are very much interchangeable and you can really go creative uh, f fool around with them okay so but it is not only limited to like the style that I did previously um, basically you can use various buildings to be an element of a bigger thing so let's this is an NPC town what I made out of it is uh, castle NPC is is the the tower of the church and the just a part of the building and you can pretty much wrap it all around if you wanted to and I just this gate design is like my own part but um so yeah this 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 play with elements and uh, and how you build up a structure um um, how this build up usually stays the same we have or end pieces we have the center pieces we have the body pieces but how how big you are going to make them the scale of the building determines more of uh, in in what order you're going to place them so but it isn't only limited to to the the neo gothic style or any uh, pre post renaissance pre modern styles like this is um how would you call it probably more vernacular architecture um and yeah you, it's it's just it is it is a play with elements and um I think like definitely if you're building in Minecraft you should definitely add some of your own playfulness to it um, and try things out uh, because you need to make mistakes before you can do it good uh, I guess or at least you need to be aware of them hopefully this tutorial will help you with that so hopefully um, 
you have a use for this tutorial um, I guess sy symmetry and asymmetry are probably people already knew what it was right um, balance unbalanced as well if you have an example of a building which is unbalanced which does still um, look great do let me know um, I th as far as I know I like balance is such an important part I don't think architects violate it ever um, but I prove me wrong um, yeah please so um, if you have a nice example of an, of an unbalanced building um, which still looks good sits right with the uh, then uh, please um, tell about it in the comments and um, yeah I want to thank you for watching hopefully you had a use for this tutorial hopefully uh, yeah hopefully you had a use for this tutorial I want to thank you for watching please like and share and all that stuff and have an awesome day